Regulation that is excessively focused on prohibiting things is built on a simplistic and somewhat false understanding of nature because it sees nature as static. Nature is a condition of constant change. Also very poorly understood by most of the public, it's not necessarily constant change always towards something better. It has a lot of random twists and turns. So the instinct to prohibit because something is an excessive interference with a nature is, I think, inconsistent right. with that notion of change. But I think it also comes out of the ways in which people imagine the role of the human vis-a-vis -vis the deity that is at the core of their own particular religious traditions. Now, some religious traditions are built on the idea of a god that is an active intervener in daily life. God decides something happens. And that's a very active version of God. And there's this notion that somehow there's a level of control that we're not supposed to exercise because it's really plain God is the phrase you'll hear. For other religions, interestingly though, the notion of a deity is far more remote. Sets things in motion at the beginning of time and then steps back so that now it's just statistics and roll of the dice. It's not God choosing. And so if you as an individual intervene to select this embryo and not that embryo, that's not playing God, that's playing human. Because God's the one who created a system of statistics and randomness. Humans are the ones who decided to change that. The more that I think we can be self-aware of where our instincts are coming from, the better it is for debating these things sensibly. Because then I can recognize, oh, I understand. It's because you and I don't share the same faith tradition. So now let's see, can we talk about this separate from those? Or do we have to build a world in which you can do it one way and I'll do it another? two different ways of handling this difference, but at least we now know what we're arguing about.